One, two, is this on? Very familiar looking DHL box. Reminiscent of about two years ago. I think it was spring 2021, if I'm not mistaken. And I am not gonna waste any time. Let's get started. Feels like Christmas is here early. Ooh, there she is. This thing's packaged up really well, but I also appreciate how easy it is to get into it when it's time. Getting this stuff out of the way is not uh, nearly the headache that it may seem to be. I'm just being extremely careful. And this is yet another win for DHL. They are quickly becoming my favorite shipper in the world. This thing was delivered without a nick or a scratch on the box. Made it around the world once again in under a week. In this case, I think it was either four or five days. So, very, very happy about that. All right, I think we got it. Let's see what she looks like. It feels like the real deal. Definitely looks like it. I'm sure when most people see this belt, they either think it's time to play the game or if you smell what the rock is cooking. Me, I think. That's the Undertaker's belt in my mind. Damn straight. Though the actual version he carried is one of the previous ones from the one that I ordered. Most notable difference being the painted logos on mine versus the all gold logos on the belt that Taker's got there. I prefer the painted ones myself. I feel like it gives the belt a bit more personality. A little more character, I guess. The plates on this belt, 4mm zinc with sharp HD etching. Orm's now able to make HD plates in-house, which we hope's going to drastically cut down on the wait time. The HD plates were previously imported from the U.S., which added months onto the wait time, but this is not an issue now. Omar's cutting his own plates with deep, intricate detail here. From the Eagle, to the JMAR plate, to the WWF Scratch logos, all the way to the McMahon family crest. Seek nos seek sacra tu amor. Alright, Dan. And that Scratch logo tooling around the edges of the leather here is really well done. This later version of the Big Eagle differs a little bit from the shell tooling that we see on the earlier versions. And let's talk about Orm's signature, the leather quality. Always great leather work. Soft and flexible, yet strong. Feels like it could take a beating. God damn it. And here's the new Orm stamp. And I gotta say, I, I kinda like the older one a little bit better. I don't know, I guess it looks a little more elegant and in my eye, it's a better compliment to the belt, but I get why he changed it. I mean, brand recognition and such. You know, the new one pops and it's easier to identify, so I get the change. This is my second belt from Orm, and it's going in the display case right underneath the Winged Eagle. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Orm service delivered again. And you know, for all the flack that some people in the belt community give international belt makers, I get the sentiment. You know, I, I understand the core issue. I do. However, as a fan who wants to buy real WWF belts, where do you have to turn? Crazy ass inflated secondhand pricing? Yeah, no thanks. Or join the queue of J. Marr or Milliken, where people have been waiting for belts for over 10 years in some cases. Oh, hell no! Or do you look to alternative belt makers, who offer high quality at a great price? Oh, and most importantly, you actually get your belt. Let's not forget that. This is my second time doing business with Orm, and the second time I've come away, satisfied customer. 
This is the WWF HD Big Eagle with the painted logos straight out of the Attitude Era. The best time in pro wrestling. Omar Raiz, thank you very much for your hard work. Knocked another one straight out of the park, my friend. And I am Orm Belts for life. New, 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 new world order.